Jurgen, you of course know the U.S. team well. You know the U.S. job well. You know Jurgen Klopp well. Do you think that it would be a good <laughs> fit? Should U.S. soccer pursue this if indeed they do move on from the current manager? If you are able to manage that to get him over and coach the U.S. team, unbelievable. You know, I would, I would carry you all over the place. <laughs> no, I mean, I can tell you. No, and, uh, obviously, I mean, I, I know Jurgen a long time and. Uh, um, He's not only a super guy uh, as he comes across throughout all the years that he's coached and, and played also before. Um, he's, he's always curious about what's next, what happens in other places, what happens in other continents. He's a con consistent learner of the game and, and I mean that's why he's one of the best coaches in the world and he proved that you know uh, through his, throughout his years at, at Liverpool. Jurgen Klopp. Always curious about other places. I mean, I, I don't know if I'm reading too much between the lines, but that sounds like there's a chance, Casey. <laughs> what, what do you think? Hold on. Well, <laughs> wait a second. I, I guess if you're, if, you're in the, if you're in the one in a million is a chance, Well, Jurgen, it's Jurgen a chance. Jurgen Klinsmann didn't really make it sound like Jurgen Klopp would immediately dismiss the idea. Didn't he make it sound like he had he a He said he would carry he you. Might, he might said be. he would carry you around <laughs> if that happened. While, <laughs> while, chuck while, while laughing chuckling. Very hard. Laughing, uh -huh. yes. Yeah, let me, let me just say, a German laughing, oh, <laughs> laughing, la I mean, it was not just a laugh, it was uh -huh. a ha, 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 ha. Uh, it, Look, it, it, it's, it's great to think about, but let me, can, can I just say that it, it's a way of also setting yourself up for failure in that you throw this name out there, Jurgen mm. Klopp, and it's this big dream, right? And probably, more than likely, it's not going to be Jurgen Klopp. And so whoever else comes is like, well, but it's not Jurgen Club. And so already that person <laughs> is carrying a handicap into the position. Hmm. I don't know. Listen, I agree. He's saying in tongue cheek. But part of me still thinks that there are these coaches out there who many think are unattainable. No way. Yet I don't know. You've got the allure of living in the United States, the allure of a World Cup, some coaches who want to slow down their lifestyle. What's slower than coaching? Every couple months. A national team that doesn't have any qualifiers before a World Cup. Yeah, there's literally almost no work. So, so while I agree with what you're saying, and I, I do agree with what you're saying, honestly. <laughs> well, it doesn't sound like it, no, but all right. I just, I just don't think it's... I just it's don't a think, funny way of saying it. I just don't think it's that impossible. improbable. It's, you don't think it's impossible. I don't think it's impossible I'm, at all. Listen, my, my dream coach is coaching in Turkey now. Things change very quickly. Okay. You know, things change very quickly, so... I don't know. Something uh, tells me the right situation. He, he was open to it's it. It's not what I think. It's what Jurgen Klopp's closest friend, Jurgen Klinsmann, mm -hmm. is thinking. He, he laughed, essentially laughed at the possibility. And then he was politically correct because, of course, you, you know, uh, Jurgen would, would be able to put together Correct. an answer that would entertain us <laughs> well, and would give he, us something to talk about. He also, and here we are talking about. He you also entertained, hold on, real quick, he also entertained that it was a very attractive job. Yes, we did ask right. him how attractive but, it was, and I, specifically for somebody of the ilk of a Jurgen Klopp. You know what else could right. happen? Mm -hmm. Ancelotti could coach Brazil. How about that well, circus? I mean, they, right? they, they, well, that was that they was real it for a minute. That well, was Angelotti's it, 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 married to a Canadian woman. He could yeah, come he, coach he, Canada. He, he I mean, could, yeah. They, you know, supposedly well, they have a house up by Whistler, in, so that in, would be really convenient. In the interview that we did with Jurgen <laughs> Klinsmann as part of um, ESPN FC, he was talking about kind of the opportunity missed in the Copa America mm -hmm. through the disappointment, mm -hmm. but also talking about what a massive opportunity the World Cup is, and that it was such a big decision right now whether to stay with Berhalter or not because yeah. of the World Cup looming. Does that looming home World Cup put more pressure on U.S. soccer to make a 100%. move now? Absolutely. Well, it, 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 there's more pressure to make a move. It doesn't necessarily have to be now. You, know, you just mentioned there's, there's, there's very few games. There's a couple friendlies coming up against Canada and... Panama. And, and, and in, like, New September Zealand, and so whatever. Yes, so... You know, you're not really learning a whole lot out of that. So I don't, I don't think it's necessarily the case where do it tomorrow. Um, or, you know, again, I think it's more a case of if you're going to make the move, make the move for the person that you really, really think is the right person to do it. So what's, this, just, what's, what's going on when, What's going on midweek then? What are the announcements? I don't know. This is the LeBron, I mean, LeBron-Griezmann decision. We're just going to announce nothing's to... Or, well, I, I'm... 
We don't know. That's why we're going to have to wait and find out. I'm sorry. What? 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 LeBron Griezmann? What? Yeah. You know. So you make. Well, when LeBron announced he was leaving, and when Griezmann announced he was leaving too, right? That's what I'm saying. They're going to make an announcement. Somebody's leaving. But but that's what I'm saying. They're not going to just say nothing's happening. Yeah. No, there's going to be an announcement. They're making a big deal of it because there's going to be an actual announcement. And if the announcement is well, we're we're ratifying them. Nothing's happening. Then why make the announcement? Ale, can you give us a a different perspective here? do you think the job is attractive? Like from, from an outsider's perspective, is it? Yes, but to a certain degree, okay. to a certain level. I, Jurgen Klopp is top tier among top tiers. We're talking the about. best of the best. Number what, yes, we are. We're talking about elite. I mean, elite, elite, elite. And so then you ask the question, or I ask you the question. Yeah, what's then. the tier? <laughs> are the United States, or is the United States no. men's national team an elite? Position. No. Not only who national might... team elite, but also club elite, because that's who you're competing with. Sure. You're not competing with just other national teams. You're competing with the other top leagues that are telling us that those managers are making 15 to 20 million a year. Club level. Club level. Correct. But that's the. But you're not. When you're talking about a Jurgen Klopp, you're not just going, oh, he's a national team manager. Right. You're talking about that it's it's top tier national team plus top tier clubs. I mean, look, it's it's great to think about. Right. And again, from an outsider's perspective, I say, yeah, well, yeah, <laughs> yeah, go after Jurgen Klopp. Sure, why not? Go to but, go go after Pep while you're yeah, at it. I, I, yes. You why know? why stop there? Klopp to why me is a placeholder almost. He's the he's the Ancelotti, he's the top he's, of the list. But he you, was going to be a national team. Manager. But really, yeah, this but is a conversation Ancelotti about ambition. Said U.S. men's huh? national team. What Pep Guardiola has said, U.S. men's national team. Jurgen Klopp has said, U.S. men's national team. Jose Mourinho, like Jose Mourinho, these coaches have in a way, said the actual program and then flirted with the idea, which is why many in the press and many in the fandom of the U.S. Men's National Team think it is a possibility because for these people, it's enough of a possibility to put it out there. It's a, it's a possibility if we knew the ambitions of the Federation. I, I think that's yes. the, the biggest, deepest question here. Well, is. but I, I think we know the ambitions of the Federation. They gave Greg Berhalter a new contract. Right. That told you everything that you needed to know about the ambitions of the Federation in that moment. Yes. Yeah. There was a signing off on the status quo. E- exactly. Yeah. And so if you... Look, I'm only going by... But the status quo now, sorry to cut you off, looks a lot different than the status quo then. The t- status quo then was we got out of the group phase, we're progressing. Now the status quo is we just bombed out of a home tournament. Right. Yeah. You repeat that status quo, like everybody at U.S. soccer is gone. And, and the opportunity, more mm. than anything, what you're talking about, the opportunity of a home World Cup is gone. Look, I don't... I don't want to come across as if I don't agree that you right. going after Jurgen Klopp is a great thing. <laughs> right. Again, let me just say that so that I'm well, clear. Yeah, well, sure, make the call. What I'm saying is the, the degree to which this is a realistic aspiration, that's when I have, I, that's when I have big doubts. When I look, say big doubts, I mean I, huge doubts. I don't, I don't think, as I just explained it to you, an elite manager... Unless he's looking for something different. Mm-hmm. Unless he, he wants a change of pace. Unless this world that he has been a part of, he's somehow jaded. And it's, it's now not what he's looking for. And he wants to have a completely, totally different experience. Then maybe we can have the conversation. And even then, I still think it's a Look, I, I can send a letter and ask Taylor Swift to play at my daughter's birthday party. Right. Uh-huh. I mean... But she if you don't say yes, but if you don't but send if you the letter, don't ask, better send the money. She never will. You better send, send the money. And hey, hey. I might need about yeah. 25 million you as got, well. You got that cash or what? You know, Casey, okay, so he's got friends. He's got friends. <laughs> well, I, I'm, in the castle. I'm, I'm, I'm built by the Franks. Hey. <laughs> Casey told us. I'll make it happen.